new controversy brewing at the Justice Department, and it is quickly getting ugly. Three months after Senator Charles Grassley asked some very pointed questions of the Just Justice Department, Attorney General Eric Holder has now revealed that at least nine of President Obama's Department of Justice appointees either represented Guantanamo Bay terror suspects or argued on their behalf before going to the DOJ. Monica Crowley is a radio talk show host and a Fox News contributor. She's my guest now. All right, Monica. So Charles Grassley sends a letter saying, tell me, tell me what the background is. Who, who in the DOJ has done this? And he gets this letter back saying mm, there are five people, five lawyers who work at the DOJ right now who represented Gitmo detainees, four who contributed at least to arguments on their behalf. Is this a big deal? Well, and notice too, because I read the letter to Grassley, first of all, the whole tone is very prickly. It's almost like the Attorney General is doing Senator Grassley a favor by responding to his request. The American people need to know if the Justice Department, which remember, Megan, in our legal system, the Justice Department is the only institution that is supposed to speak out on behalf of the American people. And in this case now, it seems that we have a DOJ that is relatively stocked with what could be assumed to be terrorist sympathizers, because if you think enough of these Guantanamo Bay detainees to represent them, what does that tell you about where these people are coming from? Okay, but, but Grassley, uh, Grassley's unhappy with the response, uh, right. but, but the, you know, the DOJ would say, look, lawyers do this all the time. You represent criminal defendants one part of your career and you represent the prosecution or work for the DA's office the next part of your career. It doesn't mean that you're a criminal defendant sympathizer or but, a terrorist sympathizer. But remember, Megan, we're not talking about lawyers who are defending a guy who stuck up the 7-Eleven. We're talking about strict national security here. We're talking about the ultimate attacks against the United States directed at civilian targets. These are terrorists we're talking about. And also, as I just said, the Justice Department is the only institution legally in the United States that is supposed to speak out and defend the American American people. We you know the, fun, the funny thing is, when I practiced law, we used to call ourselves soul. You, know, you have a soul, man. Come on. But well, you know, you can't argue. That's what you get paid to do. Argue both sides. You can just give me an issue, and I can argue either side of it. Um, is there evidence here? I mean, Holder refused to release the names, but we know mm -hmm. at least a couple. Is there evidence here that of the couple he we know of? They're true believers. They're not soulless lawyers. They actually believe uh, that yeah. these terrorist sus suspects down in Gitmo exactly. are the wronged parties. Exactly right. We're talking about some very far left activists here who have taken on the cause of these Guantanamo Bay detainees as a cause celeb, as a legal cause celeb. Look, Holder's put out there at least nine. There may be more. From Holder's own law firm before he became attorney general, there were numerous, numerous attorneys working in his law firm who represented these folks. He has since brought a number of them into the DOJ here. Now, keep in mind, he also did not reveal a couple of crucial elements to this. Not only did he not tell us who the lawyers are, but he didn't say which de detainees they were representing at Guantanamo Bay. Do we he didn't right say whether or not they recused themselves at DOJ from any terrorism-related mm. matters. Do we have and a right to know that? I mean, does of Grassley have, we have a right to right demand to, that? Yes, of course. We are the American people. Their one job at DOJ is to protect the United States against terrorism. We have a right to know if any of these lawyers, very high ranking at DOJ, right under Holder, are terrorist sympathizers. Grassley Megan. came out and said, I asked for names, cases, and recusals, and in return I received a five-page letter of bureaucratic mumbo-jumbo that, that failed to sufficiently answer my simple yeah. questions. An answer like I received today doesn't live up to the transparency and government promise uh, that President Obama made. What do we know? The two names we know are Neil Katyal, he's the principal deputy solicitor general. The other one is this Jennifer Daskal, who she worked for Human Rights watch, which was pretty outspoken in its defense of the Gitmo detainees. Oh, yes. And she actually was a counterterrorism counsel to Human Rights Watch. Far left activist, never missed an opportunity to condemn the United States government and our intentions in fighting this war on terror while, while escalating the, uh, the rights and the um, legal arguments of the Guantanamo Bay detainees that she was championing. She said the United States was committing torture when she had no evidence of that whatsoever. She claimed that one detainee all oh, couldn't write poetry at Gitmo because he could only have a pen for a limited amount of time. Yeah, because when I was at Guantanamo Bay, the guards told me they were using these pens to stab our military folks down there. She was also saying that one uh, detainee who was picked up off the battlefield at age 15 was denied the rights of a child when he was picked up. This
This woman is a far left radical. She is now one of four political appointments that Holder has made to the National Security Division, Megan, at the Department of Justice. Her task, along with 14 others, is to set policy, make recommendations to the Attorney General and to the President on Guantanamo Bay, the future of that facility, and what to do with these detainees. The American people, again, Megan, need to know if folks like this are in charge of this kind of policy in making recommendations to the commander in chief in wartime. Oh. Well, we're going to follow up on this. We're going to talk to Chuck Grassley, Grassley and reach out to the White House for, for those names to find out who else is on this group. And, and by the way, Megan, this is not unlike what we talked about at this time last week, you and which I. you were right about. About Rashad Hussein, who's a deputy associate counsel in the White House, who made these remarks sympathizing with Samuel Aryan, who had pled guilty to a count of this assisting time last terrorists. Week when you were on, he, he was denying them. And now, as our viewers know, he has now since admitted them yes. after the audio tape came out. We Monica Kelly, right. thank you so much. Thank lady. you, Megan. Well, a Cincinnati man is losing his home.